If my memory serves me correctly, the oldest resort hotel in Japan is Nikko Kanaya Hotel. Their list of guests includes the Japanese imperial family, Albert Einstein, Charles Lindbergh, and many other famous names. This hotel was founded by a man called Zenichiro Kanaya. After the great success of his hotel in Nikko, he opened another one at Kinogawa Hot Springs and gave it to his eldest daughter to run. And eventually, Zenichiro's grandson, John Senji Kanaya, took over the business. He was practically born a gourmet. He went on to open his own monument to French cuisine in downtown Tokyo, the renowned restaurant John Kanaya. With its furniture and art gathered from around the world, it quickly became the place to be seen. Then Prime Ministers Ohira and Fukuda were big fans too. It's a place where people of high caliber flock together. So this time I am extremely pleased with my success in inviting their number one chef. Now let me introduce him from restaurant John Kanaya in Nishi Azabu. Today's challenger is their grand chef, Tsutomu Hiroi. Born into a relatively poor family, he had decided to become a cook whilst he was still at school. And at 15, he began his formal training in French cuisine. Then at 31, he joined the kitchen of Kanaya Hotel. He was with the Western Cuisine Department to start with, but he started to steal techniques from the top chefs in Japanese cuisine who catered to the Japanese imperial family. Just I said to myself, I made it this far. Why not pick up all the techniques of top-notch Japanese cuisine as well? He did, and brilliantly. And at 34, Hiroi was quickly promoted to Grand Chef of John Kanaya in Tokyo. The world that unfolded before him was one of exquisite and luxurious dining, preparing superb French food to be served in private rooms. Hiroi has cooked for people in high places, including the Crown Prince and Prince Takamatsu, totally satisfying their discerning palates. Rich people are really very picky. If they see something they don't like, they don't even touch it. Hiroi's style of French food has incorporated elements of delicate Japanese and even Chinese cuisine. His work, in my opinion, is a completely new style. He sometimes even makes sushi using French or Chinese ingredients. Now, Hiroi, show us the ideals of John Senji Kanaya, and let's see if you've got the class to win in my kitchen stadium. If memory serves me right, in France, the very best chefs are presented an award, often abbreviated as MOF. MOF Cuisinier is the most prestigious national award, recognizing the very best chefs in France, something equivalent to living national treasure in Japan. There are only around 50 MOF chefs worldwide, and believe it or not, I have found one in Japan. His name is Jack Bory. I could not resist the temptation to have him prepare dishes for this coming Christmas. Jack started cooking at age 14, accumulating experience at many top kitchens, including that of Hotel de Crillon. At age 27, he was invited to Japan to head the kitchen of Hotel Okura, changing the perception of French food in Japan. At age 36, he received the MOF award from then French President Francois Mitran and became a legendary chef in his own right. He has served as Grand Chef of Restaurant Loisie in Ginza, Tokyo. The ultimate in French flavors will be revealed here today in the Kitchen Stadium. So enjoy this battle as a Christmas gift from Moa. If my memory serves me correctly, we have never had a chef from Kyoto step into my Kitchen Stadium before. Kyoto-style cuisine has a 1,200-year tradition. There are over 4,000 chefs following the style. A huge force with big names on the list. This time, I decided to choose a chef from Kyoto who qualifies to do battle with my iron chefs. So I called upon the overseer of the Kyoto Chefs Association, Yutaka Yamane, to help me get hold of a good chef. And what did he say? 
Chef Takahashi of Ikumatsu, he strives for excellency in everything, and I'm very impressed with the young man. Takahashi of Ikumatsu. Ikumatsu is an eminent name amongst Japanese inns in Kyoto, a place of status and tradition established 182 years ago. In fact, it was this inn where Katsura Kogoro concealed himself while working on his plan to overthrow the Shogunate. And even now, there are marks of the famous raid by the Shinsengumi. Ikumatsu has been the vanguard of pure Kyoto cuisine. We strive to preserve authentic, pure Kyoto cuisine. This man is doing justice to its name, the best amongst younger chefs in Kyoto, Mune Taka Takahashi. He made up his mind to become a chef during elementary school, a decision he made after he received this cooking knife as a keepsake from his grandfather. Then, at age 15, he dropped out of high school to enter the field of cooking. He apprenticed at many famous restaurants, including the legendary Uzuki. At 29 years old, he joined Ikumatsu's kitchen, and now he is number one amongst the younger chefs in Kyoto. It's my belief that that young man is going to be a big name in the future. Takahashi claims to be the true heir of authentic Kyoto style. He seems to be conversing with the ingredients he uses to maximize their flavors in season, which is the very core of Kyoto cuisine. Kyoto style cuisine is basically mild. It's light in flavor. So I have confidence in controlling flavors at a very fine level. Now, Takahashi, just like Katsura Kogoro, create a revolution in my kitchen stadium. If my memory serves me correctly, my French iron chef Sakai has over 400 apprentices throughout the country. And from one of them a little while ago, I received a letter like this. You can imagine my surprise when I read it. I wish to challenge my master Sakai in the kitchen stadium. The man who wrote this letter is the owner-chef of Shea Mario, Mario Nakagawa. Well now, I'd like to show how I've developed as a chef, a professional chef. Nakagawa began his apprenticeship under Sakai 15 years ago. At that stage, Sakai was the first chef to fuse Japanese techniques with French cuisine and was gaining recognition. Nakagawa knocked on the door of La Rochelle, headed by Sakai at the age of 21. Well, as you know, he's just an incredible chef. So brushing elbows with a man like him was just completely unreal. Back then, Nakagawa's job was simply chopping onions, but he always came in two hours earlier to absorb as much as he could. Nakagawa is a talented guy. And I had a feeling that he would become big, really big, at a fairly young age, which was in a way intimidating to me. Nakagawa inherited Sakai's skills in decoration and the use of Japanese ingredients. At 24, he switched to a restaurant headed by Kiyomi Mikuni to learn about seafood. Then, at 26, he turned to a French confectionery expert, and in a very short period, he developed his incredible skills. And, as a mere 28-year-old, he opened his own place, Chez Mario, situated in Kamata. He's now regarded as one of the flag bearers of third-generation French cuisine. The first generation includes Ishinabe and Sakai, who uphold French tradition. The second generation is led by Mikuni and Tanabe, who are known for their new approaches. Nakagawa, today's challenger, heads the third generation, which is regarded as more liberal and unique. But Nakagawa's work always reveals touches of Sakai's teaching, especially in the elaborate decoration skills using Japanese ingredients. Today's battle is thus between a master and his disciple. I'm a bit intimidated, and I wish I really didn't have to do this. Now, Nakagawa, reveal to your master your amazing accomplishment through your own exquisite dishes. 
If my memory serves me correctly, it is already seven months since my kitchen stadium was born. My objective has been to search for the heir to Rosanjin, and it's been going on well. But... I've discovered a traitor right under my wings. That man is... There are three Iron Chefs. French, Japanese, and Chinese. You need one more to call them the Four Divas. One more. Iron Chef is needed. That's what I think. And I'd like a shot at it. Very interesting. I accept your challenge. So Hattori is given his one and only chance to take on the others. And if he wins, I have graciously agreed to accept him as a new Iron Chef. Now let me introduce him once again, the president of Hattori Nutrition College, Yukio Hattori. Actually, this man has two faces. One is his official role as the fifth president of his school, the face of an educator. The other face is as the heir to a 500-year-long tradition of Hattori-style cooking. The style originated back in the 1400s. It established the protocol for cooking in a samurai family. And Hattori is the one who succeeds this tradition. He received intense training since he was very young. For example, at age four, he was taught how to peel apples properly. By six, he was able to fillet mackerel like a pro. And at nine, he mastered the cooking of crabs. He still has the scar from a crab pinching his finger back then. Ten years later, he went to college. During those days, he visited over 30 countries, learning the flavors and methods of various styles of cooking. Then, at age 31, he became the fifth president of the school. Underpinning Hattori's dishes are years of interaction with top chefs around the world. His in-depth research enables him to prepare any style of cooking, which is a rare commodity in a chef. しかし今回ばかりはデザートの範囲の鉄人でさえ震え上がるような一人の強者を見つけてしまったのだ。なんでもその男国内外の権威あるコンクールに出場し最年少優勝という輝かしい経歴を重ね続けてきた天才パティシ